Hey what's up guys, it's been a while since I did a launch box tutorial, but with the release and recent update of the new FM Towns emulator I feel now is the right time to do it. Prior to Sugaru we only had Uns, which was renowned for being one of the hardest emulators to add and get working correctly in launch box. Hell, it was even a ball ache to get working as a standalone emulator, as you had to add virtual drives etc. I did actually start doing a video on the UN setup and actually wrote a helper program in C Sharp that was almost finished when my good friend Lucas Rainford told me there was a new FM Towns emulator that is great and doesn't even have graphical glitches on the Shadow of the Beast, which is a comparison that I've been wanting to do for a while. On top of this, there's no need for virtual drive as this emulator mounts the image within the program. Ok so let's get started, I've put links to everything you need in the description below. First of all, download the emulator and extract it somewhere on your computer. I've packaged all the ROMs in with this to make it easier for you as the MU comes without them. Next you need the games, and I'm not going to link to any games on here, but a quick google for FM Towns games ROMs will sort you right out. Once you get the ROMs, make sure you unzip them in their own folder. They should look like they are shown here. Right, that's everything in place, let's move over to Launchbox. First of all, in Launchbox we don't have any FM Towns in here, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move over to Tools, we're going to Manage, we're going to add the Emulator, right, so here we only have the two what I had on the last uh, tutorial what I did, so we're going to add an Emulator, we're going to put the name of it which is Tusugaru in there, the application path is the path to the emulator file which we downloaded and unzipped so we'll go to that now which should be in downloads and it's this windows binary tech latest right inside here we have two files we have the gui file which that right, is if you were going to do it as a standalone um, and we have the cui file right so the cui file is a command line interface and um, that's the one we're going to be using because that's the one where we'll be launching using command line so we'll click that, that's now gone into there. So next we want to do the default command line parameters. So for this we need the path to our ROMs folder, not the games ROMs folder, the ROMs folder inside the emulator. So for this we will go to downloads, it's in Windows binary, and this is the ROMs folder here. Click on here, if we now press shift and right click, it should work, shift, and right click we will be presented with this here and we can copy as a path so copy that as a path now if we go back into here and control V it'll put that into there right we'll just add a space at the end of this because we're going to add some more command line parameters in here so that it launches in full screen using the controller and etc right so this was a bit what take, took a little bit of working out um, but I've worked it out and I've tested it on my own and I've tested it on Lucas's machine and it works perfectly right so I've wrote this in the description below um, I'm not going to go into how it works but I'm just going to paste it in here now but that's all you need to do you need to get the path to your ROMs file and then you paste this bit of the command line in after there it is that will open in full screen and um, you press escape to exit um, and that's it for there so we don't need to do anything else in here now uh, apart from go to associated platforms which is on the left pane here right now we need to add a platform so in here you can write anything fm towns that'll do that's done and we'll press ok right so that's it that's the emulator added right we'll close that next we want to import our roms so to do this we go to tools we'll go to import we'll go to rom files it pops up with a rom file wizard uh, we'll go next Right, we're gonna we can add a folder out and add files. We're gonna add files because we only want to add Q files. We're gonna add files. We go to where our ROMs are, which mine are just in downloads for the purpose of this. I click on there, I go into here, right? I don't want to go any lower into any of these uh, folders here, I just want to be at the top level here. Okay, in the search, I type dot C U E and then enter, and then it will show all of these. So I want to highlight all of these. You might have more, I've only for the purpose of this 
tutorial I've only got four games in here just for quickness because of when you're importing the ROMs obviously it takes time getting them the metadata and the pictures and stuff like that so we're going to highlight all of them and press open right we'll now come into here okay press next it's going to ask what platform we want to add them for and we're going to scroll down to FN Towns Marty It is and then next okay it's gonna ask us to choose an emulator which we're going to choose the one we added just just there now next right at this point you can do whatever you want here you can move them to where the games folder here you can move them into another folder you can leave them where we are I'm just gonna leave them where we are for the purposes of this tutorial because I've actually got a different setup to this okay so I'll use my next. Just you can just do next through all of this because this is just going to pull back all the metadata and the pictures, box art, stuff like that. So next, next. If you do have MU movies, you can actually configure that to go and get the movies from there. And there we are. So finish that, and the games will import. As you can see here, they import at the bottom now. So we'll just wait a little bit of time for this to finish. Shouldn't take long with us only having four games. Right, so it's imported the games now. We're still in all, but if we didn't go to computers, we will see that they're just in their own category here. So if we double click on there, we'll see FM Towns. Uh, we have four games. We have Bubble Bobble, we have Flying Shot, we have Splatterhouse, we have Truxton, which are probably my four favorite games on the FM Towns. It's now put the media files in and stuff like that's what we needed. So just to show that it works, I'll start up Flying Shark, which that should now boot up into full screen as you can see the clock down the bottom that's when you know that the emulator is actually doing something if you see a disc or something down the bottom that means it hasn't loaded the game but luckily for us it'll work so here we go so there's flying shark to exit the emulator to go back to the launch box screen you just press escape takes you back to there and we can start up bubble bubble Again, launches into full screen with the clock down the bottom, meaning it's loading the game in. And there we have Bubble Bubble. Okay, so that's it. So I hope you found this easy to follow. And if you have any questions, fire them away to me in the comments below, and I'll be glad to help you if you get stuck. Please let me know if there are any other systems that you're struggling with in Launchbox, and I can do further tutorials. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great retro content. And if you'd like to support my channel like these rowdy bunch going up the screen right now, get on over to my Patreon channel where you can pledge for as little as $1, which will get your name in the end credits, video requests and more in the future. Till next time, this is OSG, signing out.